name is Daniel Fliegler, and today I'm going to be discussing with you Ali Abed. Ali Abed was a movement of the survivors of the Holocaust, who after World War II, most of them had a strong desire to leave Europe and go to Israel. One of the survivors, when questioned as to what would he like to do, now that he survived the Holocaust, he said either Israel or the crematorium. That's how serious they, they felt about going to Israel. The British would not let them in. They had a ridiculous quota system. I believe it was 1,500 refugees per month. This was in order to appease the Arabs, along with a system of not selling property to Jews. The main underground army of Israel at the time, the Haganah, along with Hebrew, bring in people on boats into Israel. The British controlled the high seas and they, it got to the point where they were confiscating ships right and left and uh, throwing crews in jail. So the Haganah could not get ships from Europe as the ship owners realized that they might lose their ships and the crews would realize that they might wind up spending years in jail. As an alternative, what they came up with was to buy surplus warships in both Canada and America. Remember, this is right after World War II. The uh, ships were of no use to anyone. They were being so literally pennies to the dollar. And because they were warships, they were able to match the British warships in terms of speed and maneuverability. They got volunteers from various uh, youth groups, Zionist youth groups like Habanim and the Shemayat Sa'ir to act as the crew. I am making a movie about my father's adventures on the Josiah Wedgwood, a feature-length film in the process now actually raising money for it. The script has already been made. And um, it's an important thing because it's a show that a part of history that occurred and which had influences later on in subsequent historical events afterwards. It also touches upon nowadays where Movements of refugees all across the globe is becoming more and more an important issue. It shows what happened not too far ago in the past um, and what lessons we can learn from that in terms of going forward with what is happening now.